Hello folks, we're back with me, Darzo Gummidge, and this is Common People, where we like to look at current events, politics and culture with a little more emphasis on the C word, class. I want to talk today quickly about the announcement made by global superstar and genuine legend Lewis Capaldi about his forthcoming Netflix documentary, How I'm Feeling Now. It looks like it's going to be a pretty personal insight into some of the challenges that Lewis has faced since he rose to almost unimaginable levels of public visibility due to his amazing songwriting and also his very affable, genuine, sometimes quite self-deprecating persona and social media engagement, which for most people is just delightful to watch. He's a very naturally funny person, he's a very naturally open person, and all of this is great entertainment and really endears all of us to his music or whatever it is that he's doing. But it all comes with a massive cost. And I think that while I haven't seen any of the Netflix documentary, having been observing Lewis uh, for, for uh, a number of years as his star has risen, I have to say that when I saw the nature of the documentary, it did confirm many of my own suspicions that while he was being paraded on television every other day and radio stations and, and a lot of social media engagement, I did have my suspicions that he was having a very, very difficult time. You can tell from the body language, you can tell from the self-deprecation, and you can tell from the little jokes that often are designed to mask difficult truths, that actually, the truth is, fame is a bit of a poison chalice, and it's an aspect of our culture which is not explored enough, because I think deep down everybody would like to be publicly visible, to be loved, by the mass population and to be wealthy or at least perceived as wealthy when in truth it comes with a lot of caveats that no one explains when you sit down and sign the contract. Now I've been kind of maybe overusing social media uh, recently and I've been watching a lot of clips of people who have gone on to become wildly successful and wealthy all talking about those first couple of years after they get their big break. So they're in a hit film, they write a hit song, or or they, they write a hit book. And what is the common theme is that they're suddenly plunged into this world where they're always working, where they're always on display. And actually, while many people from the outside think that they're living this crazy, lavish lifestyle, they're actually just trying to get their head around the very abrupt financial education that occurs once you do sign a lot of your life and a lot of your rights over to a big corporation. And so with, with Lewis Capaldi, I'm imagining, although I'm just speculating, that a lot of that has been in the mix. A lot of that kind of slow sense of being disabused of many um, assumptions that once you sign the contract and once you write the hit, then you're plain sailing. And I think and I hope that the documentary will be a kind of cautionary tale for people who think that achieving that level of fame or achieving that level of, of success is going to in some way solve all of the other problems that they, they have in life. Because I know from my own experience of being very moderately successful in comparison to someone like that and being very moderately publicly visible, that the first few years of dealing with that were some of the most challenging years of my life. I remember thinking, um, I'm around all these people. I don't know how to trust anyone's motives. Everyone that comes to talk to me now already knows me, already knows something about me. So I feel at an immediate conversational disadvantage. Then there's the fact that you're on the road a lot. You're by yourself on trains and Ubers and hotel rooms. 
and sometimes that sense of isolation can become a kind of longing to try and reach out for whatever coping strategy is closest to hand. So it might be overeating, it might be alcohol, drugs, it might be sex or pornography, whatever it might be, it can be very easy to sort of in that spotlight um, begin to justify to yourself that somehow you're a kind of special case, that you deserve these things to numb the challenges, that no one knows how hard that is for you. And some of that stuff is true, but I think it can also become a slippery slope into allowing addictive thinking, which can be terribly destructive, to gain some kind of hold within our minds. So for anybody out there who is, is interested in Lewis Capaldi, uh, for all of the positive, fun, artistic, creative uh, things that he has already created and contributed. I think this documentary is also going to be immensely helpful for people out there who uh, struggle with mental health issues, who struggle with their self-esteem, and also people who struggle with Tourette syndrome, which obviously uh, operates on a kind of spectrum of severity depending on context and circumstances and also the individual. But I think he's going to lift the lid in a way that while he's offering a lot of himself and there will be an additional vulnerability that comes with being that personal, sometimes it is, it is a worthy sacrifice to make um, because when you have that platform and you have that voice, you do have substantial, significant influence. And to use your influence to be honest and open about your mental health struggles, about your emotional difficulties, and a lot of the challenges that come with living the dream, I think that's a really virtuous way uh, to use your platform. I thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing the documentary. I wish Lewis very well. Please like, subscribe, comment, share the shit out of this. We'll catch you again soon. Thanks.